guys, this is Tamara coming to you from my home. Are you transitioning or you want to rest, you know, your hair in between um, installations of your hair extensions or you are growing out a relaxer or you just want to try something different, you know, you have short hair and you want to go long or something like that. Have you ever thought about, you know, using a lace frontal wig or maybe you have tried them and you think they look really wiggy? Well, let me show you a picture. Can you see that? This is Miss Tony Braxton, as you can see, and that is a lace front wig on her head. Well, how can you do something like that without losing your hair? Have you ever seen people where they were wearing them and they lost their hairlines? Well, they were uh, applying them improperly. So what you want to do is you want to, first of all, you want to do a skin test because some people are allergic to latex or some of the um, different um, products or ingredients that are inside of the glue that's used on um, lace front. And that one actually is silk. Silk is the best. It looks the most natural. So you want to get silk if you get a uh, lace front to, you know, wig or whatever, a lace front wig. You want to make sure it's silk because silk looks the most natural to your uh, scalp. But what you do is you want to first get a scalp protector and you want to um, actually take some um, alcohol and you want to clean the area because it may be oily, it may have makeup on it, whatever. You want to make sure you start with a clean um, skin. And you want to apply the uh, adhesive. There's different kinds of adhesive, but you want to apply it um, just a little past your hairline. You do not want to touch your hairline because you will lose your hair. And you want to apply it all the way around the perimeter past your hairline, okay? Very, very important key. And then you let it sit for about five minutes so it can get tacky so that when you put the uh, lace front wig on that it will adhere to it and it won't like move around or whatever when it's tacky. Same thing like what people do when they're applying um, strip lashes. You have to let the glue get tacky first before you um, do the application. But anyway, just want to share um, a little bit about, you know, the from a professional side of it. You know, some people need a professional to apply it just depending on, you know, what there's different kinds of glue. So, uh, the lace front wig industry, you know, has blossomed in the, you know, the past seven years. And although, you know, many wig uh, websites sell adhesives, uh, there's limited information which is, you know, shared about the professional use of the products. So just wanted to share there's like soft bond adhesives and then there's also hard bond adhesives which are more permanent and um, normal. So with the soft bond adhesives, they're flexible, they're very comfortable to wear, and normally they're made with latex, acrylic, uh, copolymer and silicone. So again, if you're allergic, if you're known to have allergies, do a skin test. Pretty much everyone do a skin test, just in case. Um, hard bond um, adhesives are permanent. Normally they're made with um, um, some kind of like ac acrylate, acrylic uh, stuff in it. It's got hard bonds, they dry quickly, and it's hard to make adjustments once it's, you know, done. And again, you definitely want to get a adhesive remover. You do not want to be snatching off your skin trying to get that uh, lace wig off with that adhesive on there. So get an adhesive remover. We're not trying to make you bleed or trying to rip off skin cells. And so uh, some facts are lace wigs should be professionally installed, you know, by a certified wig specialist if you don't know what you're doing, at least, for, you know, the first couple of times. And if you uh, do not have experience, consumers can suffer from traction alopecia, which is um, basically if it's applied incorrectly. That's where you've seen where people actually have like bald spots and, you know, hair missing or whatever. So that's what traction alopecia is. And so um, it's caused primarily by pulling force being applied to the hair follicle, which is the root. Um, Body chemistries are different, and what may work for one customer may not automatically, you know, work for another. Some people have really oily skin, so, you know, that can be a factor. And although many adhesives, um, you know, vendors claim, you know, they can last, you know, four to six weeks, you know, it's not possible, basically, to keep um, it on that long because, you know, you get new skin every two to three weeks, so it's basically going to be adhering to dead skin cells, which, you know, normally shed. And so, of course, you know, you're going to have to, you know, do, like, glue reallocate. Uh, glue reapplications over that time, you know, just to touch it up. And so again, our skin sheds, we generate new skin cells and healthy skin cells. And plus you want to clean off. You don't want to have it on for that long. You know, it's, that's nasty. But anyway, seek a professional, go to a wig shop and, you know, get some advice on it. Cause again, we don't want you getting traction alopecia, but you want to look fit, fine, fabulous. And you want to try something new, you know, you try the lace wig. It looks the most natural and you can have a part or you can have it coming off of your face or whatever. So it's, it's a cute way to, you know, um, switch it up a bit. So just wanted to share that with you guys because sharing is caring and I love sharing and I love all things fabulous. So 
If you too love sharing things that you love or you're passionate about, you can turn your passion into profit because you're already sharing stuff with people. Great movies, great recipes, you know, a uh, place you visit or whatever. So are you getting paid for it? Nope. Well, you can start getting paid for it just like I do. Go to http http colon forward slash forward slash www.makemoneywithtam.com. That's http colon forward slash forward slash www.makemoneywithtam.com. Go there, plug in your email address, and then you'll get the information on how you too can start making money for sharing things that you love and that you like and turn your passions into profits. So, see you on the next post.